Questions for Tobias? How have you kind of embraced the, the sort of slash role that you're now in, in terms of playing multiple positions, kind of being all over the field? Uh, I've enjoyed the process. I mean, there comes a rough patch when there's transition from position to position, but I have pretty good coaches around me that's been in the same position, so it's not as bad. In terms of, I guess, adjusting to playing some receiver and stuff, what's been the kind of biggest obstacle for you? I'm, I imagine you know the routes and that kind of thing from playing quarterback, but is there anything in particular that's been a, an adjustment? Um, no, not really. I stay up to practice every day and work on in the areas I'm struggling at. Like you said, I know the routes, so it's not really an issue. It's just getting comfortable with the position. What has Coach Knight, does he play quarterback in Dixon? Coach Dixon. Uh, okay, here's Coach Dixon. I know he played quarterback in, high, in college, I think, a little bit. Like, how has he been able to help you handle this, this transition? Oh, he's helped a lot. I mean, coming from quarterback to receiver, I guess it's pretty common to struggle in the same areas as receiver. So areas I'm struggling in, like I say, I work every day for practice on the areas I'm struggling in, and he's been there every step. So. Returning kicks, have you noticed a, a difference in the blocking up front, you know, as the season's going on? Uh, no, not really. I mean, the blocking is the same. They don't really pay attention to who's returning, so. You just make the best out of it, is what you got in front of you. Yeah. Is that fun? Like, that's a different kind of thing where you know you're going to have some space to work with and you can see the whole field, that kind of thing. Is that kind of a fun thing to do, is returning the kicks? Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, you don't have to read anything. You know you're getting the ball. You just get it and try to make something happen. Is that all just kind of instinct? Like, you've made some moves to, to get, you know, shake guys or get more yardage. Like, what's going on there that's kind of... Uh, yeah, it's basically instinct. It's no different than catching the ball at quarterback, making a guy miss. Yeah. Kickoff is actually a little easier. you got more field to work with. So. Is there anything in particular you've seen that's kind of caused some of the slow starts you guys? The first quarter's been pretty tough all year, and it seems like that's kind of dug the hole that it's been hard to get out of. Um, no. I think we're just growing as a team. I mean, it's our first year in the offense. It's not really an excuse, but you look at the second half of the game on Saturday, we're like a completely different team. So I feel like we did something Saturday that we haven't done the entire season. So hopefully we'll pick up this following Saturday where we left off. What was it like making your first catch? Uh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've obviously had, to, I mean, you started the first game at quarterback and you've had the rotation and now you're so like you, you know, at wide receiver and have a home there. What has that been like to, I guess, have that uncertainty and, and also be moving around and, and that now, I guess now to, to have a little more certainty about what's what's going to happen next? Um, I guess it feels good to know where I'm at right now, but I'm not. We've had several guys all over the team that's playing multiple positions, so it's not like it's uncommon that right. I'm playing a different position. Um, I don't know if there's anybody besides the quarterbacks right now that's not playing more than one position, so. I'm just like everyone else on the team. To help like seeing like Jordan Huff or those guys that switch back and forth or playing different positions it makes it like not it's not unusual for the team, so I guess it's not like a strange thing to, to move and try something different. Oh yeah. Like I say, there's guys moving all over the place. There's defensive guys coming to play offense and vice versa, so it's pretty common now. What are the you mentioned staying after more kind of thing? What are what are some of the things that are maybe coming slower to you that you're trying to work on? Uh, just getting separation at the line of scrimmage. I mean, every receiver, receiver has their own way of getting separation, so it's just finding what I want to do and perfect. Like whether you use your hands or whatever, how you get that separation? Yeah, just using your hands and feet at the line of scrimmage to get the DB off of you, just working that every day. One or two more. Um, do you feel like a wide receiver, or do you, does it still sort of feel kind of, I don't know, unfamiliar to you, or how, 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 what's the um, where you at? I feel like a receiver. I mean, like I said, the things I'm struggling with, I work after practice so that it doesn't feel abnormal. But going into the game, it's not like I feel out of place or yeah. I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing, so it's fun. Do you still feel comfortable if you get called on to, to go in and play quarterback? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> um, I think Coach Collins was saying, maybe on the radio show or somewhere else, but just that you have a lot of potential and potentially to play at the next level. And I imagine that's something he shared with you, and I'm curious just what you feel about that as – is this, you know, possibly being a, you know, kind of a route for you to get to the NFL? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I've heard it my whole life that I could play receiver at the next level, but kind of just focus on right now. I played quarterback my whole life. I could have I could have made the switch a year ago, two years ago, but I embraced my role as the team, like for the team, and now it's as a receiver, so that's what I'm going to do. All right. Thanks, Spice. Thanks.